EA Sports. It's in the game. Everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Mike Tyson's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. David Hayes making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Introducing first, by way of Brooklyn, Iron Mike Tyson! His adversary, an impressive record of 25 victories, including 23 knockouts and only one defeat. Coming out of London, David the Haymaker. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. There's the combo to the body. Tyson's the victim of a powerful hook. Well, Tyson sees this just about every time he steps into the ring. He's up against the taller man here. Yeah, but he also understands that once he starts getting close, guess what? That guy becomes a midget. There he goes with the right hand again. Good biting, snapping shot by David Hay. David Hayes getting back to basics, a good solid jab. He clinches when he gets to the With inside. The body. Tyson's three punch combination there is going to impress the judges. He gets rid of that body shot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. He takes a shot, and then commits to giving one right back. Good job protecting himself. David Hayes jab lands well. 
How about a return to sender with the left hand? Oh, and there you go. Now will David Hay react down? A power shot just floored him. One, two, three, four. Five. That's a good job by David Hay just showing some guts getting up after that knockdown. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Come, come. Last 10 seconds. Good, solid right hand by David Hay. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. David Hayes got to be so careful here, Teddy. He was knocked down in the last round, and you know his opponent's going to be... There it is! And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. David Hayes still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. That's it. That's it. There's the combo downstairs. Through the years, especially in the heavyweight division, there have been some guys that can throw a good right uppercut. But when Tyson fully dips and get, gets all that body behind it, it's as good a right uppercut as we've ever seen. Yeah, it's coming from Brooklyn. You know, it's coming from a place that really you wish that you didn't have to visit because you get hit with that punch. He's putting everything into it, but he sets it up nice. He hits you behind the back a little bit in the rib area, and then all of a sudden, when your arm moves a little bit, it's coming up the middle. Big left hand from Iron Mike. Good stuff by David Hay, working his combinations well. Blocks the headshot. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. You have to double jam, all right? Start of a new round, but will it be much the same? David Hayes been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by David Hay. Hook lands by Hay. They both decide to bring it. Tyson's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. And now he scores well with the straight right. David Hayes hurts. What a big shot. How can it go on once again? He hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Um. It's over. 
over. This fight is over. David Hayes unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, your winner. Just like that, Mike Tyson's thunder rains down on him with a knockout victory. Well, one of Einstein's theories was E equals mass times speed. This was fist, hits chin, and out he goes. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.